As Governor Kenneth E. Mapp pursues closer economic ties with China, he and members of the delegation traveling with him are learning a great deal about the world's most populous country. China's recorded history dates back more than 3,000 years and is filled with spiritual, artistic, and architectural tradition. After an initial series of meetings with government and business leaders, the governor and his entourage were introduced to many of the cultural elements of Chinese life. What better guides than two Virgin Islanders now living there? Paul Cabo and Marjorie Roberts, whose mother is a prominent St. Thomas attorney, are living in mainland China. They shared with the governor their experiences and insights as residents. Governor Mapp expressed his appreciation for their assistance and wished them well. Next on the delegation's agenda is a visit to a Sinopec oil refining operation in Ningbo, one of China's major port cities in the southeast. Sinopec, among the world's largest energy companies, was introduced as a major player when Governor Mapp announced the deal reached with Arclight over the St. Croix refinery site. It is the governor's aim to secure increased Chinese investment in all areas of the Virgin Islands economy, including energy, travel, and tourism. His efforts are being encouraged and supported by the United States Embassy in China and the U.S. Commercial Service in China.